Wheel. I'm Chris Westwood, and we're at day two of the cyclocross doubleheader at Nepean National Equestrian Park. Yesterday's race was called the Hammer, and today it's called the End. Once again, Natasha Elliott was the class of the field in the women's race, easily riding away to a victory more than two minutes ahead of second place rider Sophie Matt. Julie Lafreniere finished third. It was a good weekend. Uh, it was fun to come out and do the local stuff and support support the local series and, and Glen's race. And it was a really fun, fast cyclocross course. Like Saturday, the men's race got off to a blistering start with Derek St. John and Evan McNeely quickly riding away from the rest of the field. However, the tiring McNeely was unable to stay with St. John, who quickly opened up a small gap and the gap continued to grow right the way to the finish. Meanwhile, the field shattered behind with Osmond Baker, Matteo Dalsin, Connor O'Brien and Mark Boudreau picking up the chase. Unlike Saturday, McNeely opted not to ride the barriers. Sunday's course was, if anything, more twisty and technical than Saturday's, resulting in a lot of crashes and riders losing time. Pre-race favorite Kier Place was sidelined with a broken chain. Out front, St. John cruised to victory by 39 seconds over McNeely. Osmond Baker managed to drop Matteo Del Sin to finish third, and Connor O'Brien won the sprint in the chase group behind, finishing just ahead of Mark Boudreau and Nathan Underwood. On the last lap, I was trying to go as hard as I could, and I, I ran into a stake, but luckily it, uh, it wasn't that bad. You know, no matter, no matter what the size of the victory, it's always nice to put your hands up in the air and, uh, and take one. Next year, two days again, and uh, hopefully uh, we're going to put a bid into nationals probably for the year after, and uh, after that turn it into a UCI race maybe. Just sort of take it from there. At the Nepean National Equestrian Park, I'm Chris Westwood.